Yeah, the recording has started. Yes. So, <clears throat> a very uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone present here. So, uh, uh, so we are here. We start our webinar. So, before uh, starting our webinar, we, as you all know, we were we have been waiting for this day, and uh, we welcome architect Joseph Losodo sir for from Rome, Italy. Who is the architect and partner of Studio Amati Architecti? So before yes, <clears throat> so our director sir is also joining. He is on board, so I will formally so I welcome all the uh, director sir, all professor, associate professors, assistant professors, and all the students for thank you for joining the webinar. And yes. Most uh, very much thanks to our, our guest speaker for taking out time from his busy schedule. Yes, our uh, director sir is here. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, yeah, good afternoon. So he's our director, sir, uh, Professor G. Sunil Kumar, sir, the main head of the yes. Institute of Architecture Department in Geetam University. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. You had to uh, excuse me for 10 minutes. I just joined back because uh, my instrument uh, is giving little problems. It is updating. So I'll just join back, sir. Please excuse me for 10 minutes. Thank you very much for this uh, invitation. We are uh, uh, very glad to participate to your program. Yes, yes sir. I actually, yeah, I have to give you a big uh, like, uh, thanks for uh, attending this webinar. I'm uh, very happy that uh, you have uh, extended your participation. I just come back and join you, sir, please. Thank you. Thank you to you. Yes. Uh, so firstly, I will uh, give a brief introduction about our university. So Geetam University, Geetam full form is uh, Gandhi Institute of Technology and Management. And the oldest campus is in uh, Vishakhapatnam. It's in Andhra Pradesh, India. Vishakhapatnam, the campus started in 1980. Founder is Dr. VVS Murthy. And, uh, and Hyderabad, the campus started in uh, 2010. So <clears throat> architecture, so oldest architecture campus is in Vishakhapatnam by And then in 2018, it's in uh, architecture department started in uh, 2018 in Hyderabad. And there is third campus in Bangalore, Karnataka. So we have three campuses in total. And uh, yes, uh, so the programs which are being there is uh, Geetam School of Technology, Geetam School of Business, Geetam School of Science, Geetam School of Architecture. There are already seven programs running. And uh, so I would like to, uh, yeah, so I would like to welcome our, uh, our associate professor, uh, professor ma'am, Professor Shavanti ma'am. And she is the main, uh, and then we introduce our associate professor Kanaka sir, who is the admission coordinator also. And uh, he's associate professor and architect. And then uh, all our assistant professors, Sankirtana Ma'am, uh, Alaknanda Dash Mohapatra, and uh, yes, and uh, Ramaya Gitika Ma'am. So, yes. So basically, uh, yes, actually everyone is joining. So yeah, just a second, yes. So, now we start officially. So very good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all present here. Our assistant professor, architect Snigdha Roy, welcome you all to the Geetam School of Architecture webinar series 2023 on the topic of successful career in architecture, organized by Geetam School of Architecture, Hyderabad and Vishakhapatnam campus for all the aspiring students of architecture, parents, guardians, and mentors. And this series is always held in every Saturday or Sunday, uh, where we invite all the renowned practicing architects worldwide in India and worldwide to share their journey 
on successful career in architecture and uh, <clears throat> it's our honor that architect joseph losodo who is the partner of studio amati architecti has uh, joined our accepted our invitation despite of having the busy busy schedule and so i would like to give a brief description about joseph losodo architect uh, so he is an architect with 30 years of experience who is involved in the coordination of numerous interventions carried out by studio amati architecti the studio which he is currently the president and the technical director he has worked in many complex projects in rome italy and abroad this firm studio amati architect is based it's not only a 50 year old architecture firm it's also an engineering firm and uh, it's in rome italy so his the projects are associated with both public and private sector with special attention in the design of tertiary and industrial buildings as well as restoration and urban rege regeneration his works have been very well recognized through prizes and architectural competitions and various publications so brief description about the firm the company Studio Amati Architecti, which is an architecture and engineering company active since 50 years, offering all the professional services from design to supervision, monitoring and controlling activities, and also including implementation of complex building interventions with particular experience in the redevelopment and conservation sector of urban areas. So it's in based in Rome. and it has this firm has been winners of many competition has won many awards at national and international level and today professional reality coordinated by three partners basically uh, along with architect joseph losodo there are two more partners that is romina sambusi and francis soabati who have been working in the studio for the past 20 years and it's a very they believe strongly in the team work complementary of specialized skills with the realization of architectural works and the common philosophy is integration between the aesthetic technical and functional aspects of the project alongside the experimentation of advanced technologies for the best executive and environmental economic sustainability so also the formula of team work allowing them to offer a customer range of efficient and versatile of services so we welcome you on board sir and uh, looking forward to listen to your journey over to you sir and we also welcome hari krishnan who is doing presently internship under architect joseph losodo and uh, welcome you sir on board over to you sir you, i have made you the co host you can share your screen and introduce yourself um thank you thank you very much for this uh... Uh, in the invitation for us uh, for Studio Amati is uh, an honor to be here today with you i am in rome as uh, nick daroy said and with me is uh, an indian architect hari krishna and krishna from kerala that is now in uh, studying at the university of rome la sapienza about uh, restoration architectural restoration we are um, very glad to be here and uh, we would like to talk about our experience um, as you request um, and um, we have a, a presentation and if, if you if you want we could uh, uh, play the, that could i share my my video yes so definitely you are the co host uh, you have access and permission to share it Do you see my monitor? Yes, sir. Your screen is visible. It's full screen. We are able okay. to see. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Uh, our studio is an architecture and, in and engineering firm that is based in Rome, the capital of Italy, and uh, is, a, is, a, is a active since uh, 1963. We are near to um, the 60th birthday. And uh, we have a seat in, uh, in a quarter in the center of Rome. We are a team of uh, actually 45 people, uh, architects and engineers. And uh, the studio is now uh, directed by three partners as um, produced. Um, with me are architect Romina Sambucci, that is vice president and technical director of the, of the studio and also and there is another pattern that is uh, the architect Francesco Abbati. We are uh, three people that work uh, over 20 years together, and we are uh, now the board of the, of the firm. We have an, an organization that is uh, able to um, manage every kind of service in the architecture and in the near sectors. Um, we are organized in department, in a department that are um, specialized in uh, three particular uh, sectors. One it is uh, the design department, Another is a work supervision department. And the third is safety coordination. Even in the design phase or in the execution phase of the works. So we have the capacity to manage every services from the initial concept phase to the uh, testing and final uh, realization of the, of the architectural building, um, but also uh, comprehending uh, structure, st structure and uh, systems. We have the support of uh, a strong secretary and the other uh, people that work in, in uh, the studio as um, in IT, in the, in the facilities, and we have a net of um, several experts, in uh, particularly uh, matters, or consultants, uh, as in local sites or in local uh, situations, with many collaborators and that uh, begin their career <laughs> uh, like uh, young uh, people, and uh, as in my case, could have uh, a long-term collaboration with the firm. We work in every country of Italy. This is a map of our, uh, our country. And uh, in these uh, years, um, we work in every part of our country. And we are, uh, also able to work uh, abroad in Italy. We have uh, experiences in uh, several countries. Uh, we had uh, an office in China for uh, several years, and we are uh, able um, to work for foreign clients that are operating in Italy. I could uh, name uh, industrial company as uh, Boeing uh, or uh, Lockheed Martin, or um, foreign institute, institutions as the British School at Rome or as the French uh, uh, Lyceum in, in Rome. And we have uh, many um, agreements with the university, not only Italians, but also of uh, several countries as uh, Spanish, French, uh, Japanese, uh, Brazilian, Turkish. And so we 
uh, cooperate with the university, making uh, internship of students or uh, graduated that uh, have um, now a master, as uh, I said with Ari Krishna before. Our service are, um, are a standard to all the phases of an architectural and engineering project. We are um, aspect about general coordination of every kind of intervention. And as architect, we uh, coordinate the other actors of the, of the program. Uh, so we are specialized in architectural design, but uh, we uh, can govern the process and uh, talk uh, uh, with uh, engineers, uh, with experts in structures and systems in uh, every kind of, um, of sectors that uh, is involved in the, in the program. We not only um, curate the, the architectural and uh, the, the phase of design, but also we uh, are able to manage the construction phase. For, uh, for us, is a, a must. It is, it is uh, very important to assure to the client the quality of the entire process not only uh, in the design phase, but also to the final uh, completion of the, of, the, of the works. And we are um, expert of uh, new uh, tendencies. We are uh, organized to work uh, in, uh, with advanced systems as BIM, building information modeling or as new uh, environmental uh, systems uh, to assure to ensure to the construction a high quality level the philosophy of the studio is to integrate very well all the aspects of the project not only curing the aesthetic aspects but also every technical functional um, aspects to have an object realized, well realized, and uh, to ensure uh, the best quality at the end. And uh, we believe that uh, an architecture uh, doesn't uh, remain on a sheet paper, but uh, as uh, be lived, uh, and uh, his, uh, his construction. And we apply to this, uh, to, this uh, to our work with um, strong, uh, uh, strong um, idea to work and to join several specializations, several skills in the teamwork, fusing multidisciplinary work with passion and competence. So we think that we can uh, obtain the best uh, result in our works. We are um, applying to several kind of project we have uh, experience uh, in public activities that are uh, town halls uh, uh, offices for um, private and public uh, companies uh, uh, but also uh, other uh, public services like hospitals theaters school universities uh, we are also specialized in industrial buildings, particularly about aerospace sector. Uh, we are um, expert about the 
design and construction of uh, building for the airplane aircraft complex uh, or production of uh, high, high advanced uh, technologies. Um, in our work, we um, take part to important program at urban scale, not, all, not only at the building scale. Uh, every in Italy, also, also abroad, for, uh, especially for the reconversion of uh, uh, former uh, industrial areas and especially for a um, tourism developing of these areas. It is a frequent situation in Italy, but also in other countries as in China, uh, where, we, where we work. These are uh, some suggestions of uh, our um, experience in the high technological uh, activities also as i said in the aeronautical field uh, it happens that um, in these days some several technical teams uh, involved us as architect to humanize these uh, teams and we are working now to uh, integrate system uh, like uh, smart grids, smart office uh, system for uh, health in a way that as architect could be uh, humanized and uh, faced with uh, a good spirit, not only uh, limited to the technical aspect. I would like now to explain my opinion about uh, the work of architect, as I think that uh, many people that are now listening are uh, students or young architects. And I would like to talk about, uh, to talk how our works, the, arch the architect works, is changed. Uh, through my personal experience, that is a, a 30 years old experience now. I uh, had the fortune to study in Rome, at the Rome University, but um, not only for the university, because for an architect, the town of Rome is an open air school, is like a book that uh, uh, you can. Uh, read, you can study uh, for your profession. And it, uh, that is uh, happened to me, so that it happens to architect now. Uh, I was graduated uh, at uh, La Sapienza University. And uh, um, the method that we and, and I uh, of studies is uh, now the same to use uh, the past that uh, in Rome is uh, the first uh, teacher and uh, learn from the past the see, the answer to the to the present and to the future as uh, happens as happened to great artists uh, from uh, Raffaello, Michelangelo, but not also is a, a system that a uh, method that for uh, the training in architecture in Rome is very uh, appreciated uh, from over the world. Here are, these are samples of, of uh, Renaissance or neoclassical uh, architects that studies the monuments and uh, uh, try to uh, learn from the past the uh, answer for their present. So it happens to me. Uh, when I was a student, um, I spent many time to uh, learn from uh, 
Roman monuments, uh, all uh, that I today <laughs> apply in other sectors. So we were, we were, we were students. We spent many days to, uh, to see, to observe the ancient monuments as uh, this one that is uh, uh, my, my test of uh, university test uh, on drawing um, that uh, requested to um, observe an ancient uh, Roman tomb in, near the Appian, the ancient Appian Way and to hand draw that this is not only my experience my, is uh, the same of uh, uh, student and uh, architects of uh, the past and uh, of the present this is uh, some uh, drawings and drawings of mine that i made for a, a university test so the architectural thesis from the classical studies, because I studied uh, uh, at Lyceum uh, classical matters, and uh, I di didn't have a specific formation drawing, I uh, learned by myself. Mm, and uh, I, at the end, completed my studies with a thesis in uh, urban design that is um, applied to a part of Rome that is near Ponte Milvio at uh, the left there is a, an old uh, picture by Piranesi that is uh, Ponte Milvio is uh, an ancient Roman bridge near uh, that was fought uh, an important battle from uh, the Emperor Constantine, and uh, he won the battle. And after this, uh, the Roman Empire became Christian. It is an important site for the town of Rome. And the thesis bring to the past, also in this case, to make a new uh, answer to the request of the site. And uh, I designed for the thesis a civic and commercial center in this uh, site that comprised uh, um, a public building, a square that uh, uh, reused an old uh, design made the architect, uh, a classical architect, uh, Giuseppe Valadier. And uh, proposed a new uh, market in this area, where you were now at the at the time there were uh, uh, spontaneous uh, shops, uh, public market. I using this uh, model at urban scale. And uh, I use uh, strong paper uh, or sponge, <laughs> but uh, well, it was important for me to manage the idea with a real uh, a scale, a mother scale. But uh, all the drawings at the time was made by hand, and this is the general plan of the the urban composition. So these are uh, perspective and made <laughs> um, by myself. The design was based about a modular system that were repeated to com compose a, a building. And they, and um, also, in this case, I use uh, a model 
to control the, the, the solutions. From this period, then when I was graduated, I became a member of Studio Mati. And in that, in that period, we are talking about, uh, about 30 years ago, I lived the transition from hand drawings to CAD, to computer aided design. And uh, in that period, uh, uh, cohabitate the old uh, uh, tables and uh, all the architects that uh, continues, continues um, to use uh, and drawing with new system. Uh, this is a, uh, a prehistoric <laughs> personal computer. But in several time, uh, we, um, not only I, my, also my colleague, um, operate. Uh, this revolution to, uh, to evolve from Androids to CAD systems. So now are living, my opinion, a second revolution, a similar revolution about uh, the transition from CAD to BIM, uh, the new system that Laputo building information modeling in uh, where our studio is now very skilled, but uh, I can talk that also in Italian situation, uh, there are present uh, project uh, made by CAD systems and uh, several project in, in BIM systems. In our studio, we are very uh, equipped to effort uh, to make an effort in, uh, in uh, one on, on, on the other system. These are uh, image of uh, new beam design that we apply no, not only to architectural design, but in order to control every aspect as the system of the structures, not only in the design phase, but also in during the site management, during the execution of works. And also we offer to uh, other people a professional training on uh, this uh, on this system. We recently apply uh, other um, advanced uh, technologies with BIM, all, especially in the um, existent uh, building uh, that is uh, named Heritage BIM, H-BIM, in which we um, join uh, advanced uh, survey systems as laser scanner or drones to uh, collect uh, data that uh, in the past we uh, had difficult to, uh, to join together. And so we are able, especially uh, in the intervention that uh, regards uh, existing building to have um, a system to knowledge and to begin a, a design that in the past we don't not have. I would like now uh, explain some of our um, experience um, upon three, three principal sectors. First of all, I would like to uh, explain to uh, design um, about uh, we, we were about uh, where we, we was we were involved uh, in architectural conservation of uh, um, two buildings not very ancient but uh, uh, modern uh, important uh, building one of these 
is uh, the Casa Gil of Trastevere in the center of Rome, that is a masterpiece of Italian rationalism built in 1933 and uh, designed by a young architect, 26 years old, that uh, is Luigi Moretti. Uh, this was um, the first seat of uh, um, the young uh, Italian fascist and uh, was uh, conceived as a complex in which they, the young, could uh, play several sports, uh, swim, gym, uh, or uh, have uh, lessons. These are uh, photos of uh, the original period. And uh, it is uh, a building that in Italy is considered um, one of the most important of the modern uh, movement in Italy. But for, the, for its uh, original destination, after the Second World War, this building was damaged in this way. You could see that uh, the, the open air gyms that are uh, these two floors were closed and the all the entire building was adapted as a, a dormitory as a offices was changed the the color of the of the facades so in this time we uh, applied to make an inter intervention to restore not only the aspect of the building but to uh, insert new functions and to give uh, to it a new life. So we make the not only the design, uh, but we are uh, uh, now working about the uh, patient work to reuse the building that uh, comprehend several function, new function about uh, principally cultural events and uh, training uh, training school. Some of these are specialized in uh, particularly uh, sectors as a cooking school or uh, not specific uh, in order to have uh, um, spaces for uh, the training of uh, public uh, workers or uh, students or other people. The um, first phase of the intervention is completed. So we restored the, the original spaces. This is uh, the honor atrium and the, the other uh, parts of, uh, of, uh, of this building. But we are now working to the mm. two uh, original gyms um, based upon historical analysis and uh, um, surveys of every aspect. This is um, an image of the work during the work. And we made the investigation about uh, structures uh, in order to um, arrange uh, solutions for prevention of earthquakes and other, uh, other situations. Or thermal uh, thermographic analysis to uh, improve the quality and uh, the comfort uh, of the building. But also the first uh, obje objective of the program is to uh, restore the old image in a new way. Not only uh, about the conservation of the re uh, proposal of the past, but uh, 
to harmonize new function and um, new situation with the old image. So you see uh, the original uh, by Moretti, the situation before the works, and uh, our proposal that in this case uh, proposes to reopen the, the formal regimes, but to adapt them as uh, uh, cinema uh, rooms. So we make these uh, drawings. And now we are completing the works that uh, these are two photos made a few, year, few days ago. In a similar case, I would like to explain a, a second project, uh, restoration project. We applied to the um, refurbishment of the British, British school at Rome. That is the Academy of the United Kingdom uh, in Rome uh, that uh, hosts uh, uh, several uh, studios, artists, and uh, they come to Rome to have a period of, uh, of study. This building, it, it is interesting because it was uh, designed by Sir Edwin Lutyens that you in India know very well because he's uh, the author of uh, Daily Master Plan or the Viceroy uh, Palace in Delhi. So this is the only Italian building um, designed by him uh, as a pavilion for the uh, international exhibition that was organized in 1911 in Rome. This is uh, an image of uh, the first construction. After the exposition, the complex was enlarged and was adapted to become the seat of the British Academy of the British School in Rome. That is now is the function of the complex. And a um, few years ago, we were called to manage a, a program in order to uh, reduce the consumptions of the building that uh, it is uh, typical as an, an ancient building it was not uh, uh, conceived to have the performance that now are the best and so uh, we make this program with the cooperation with the english company arup and um, in order to uh, obtain this, uh, this objective, not only energy efficiency or the improvement of uh, env environmental sustainability, but also to rationalize maintenance and uh, to obtain a um, reduction of the management cost, because uh, you have uh, to know that uh, the client is a charity that has uh, uh, resources that uh, uh, are given from uh, donors and uh, for an ethical aspect and not only economical it is very important to use the money in uh, the best way and they uh, ask us to make a design in order to contain the costs that are uh, uh, now possible to spend uh, in cultural activity. So we make uh, with Arup um, an important uh, studio, uh, study about this actual situation in order to uh, in, um, design intervention 
uh, that uh, will be able to reduce uh, consumptions. Are these uh, um, small interventions, but uh, integrated in a general vision. So we um, could uh, program the objectives and to um, and I could say that uh, monitoring now the situation after the works, the consumption were reduced about one uh, thirty uh, percent of the actual situation. I go on uh, describing some of these interventions. This, this is the, the part of the build of the complex that are uh, guest uh, room for the studios and for artists that has uh, uh, very loss, <laughs> very uh, with many problems about the thermal and uh, thermal uh, consumption. We had uh, new glasses uh, made in the, in the 60s, uh, wooden winds uh, that uh, we, we that are now, that are, are not uh, um, able to, to make an efficient work. So we repropose the old uh, aspect, but with new uh, components. And uh, we make new wooden winds that are uh, uh, similar to the, the old design, but with uh, a great performance. So we combined the enhancing of uh, performance with the original uh, composition. This is uh, one studio. And the, the new system, not only the wooden windows, but also the uh, skylights are uh, very appreciated by the, the people that live there. So we restore uh, the roof that was not insulated at the, uh, at the problem of infiltration of, uh, of rainwater. So we remake uh, this part of the building. Another part that was interested by the works is the archive that uh, uh, also uh, an important collection of books, uh, not only rare books, uh, that is important, but also book, uh, the books that uh, uh, in particular documents the history of Rome. So we had an archive that uh, had uh, huge problems about uh, consumptions. And we uh, remove uh, all the systems, uh, the seat systems, and in a new uh, reconfiguration. These are, uh, uh, this is the room uh, empty with the uh, new systems. And this is uh, the new archive that now is very, very well uh, realized. So in the gallery that is uh, ubiquitous under the monumental staircase that you seen, have seen in the first image, we reorder the, the systems with the small intervention, but that are very efficient to control the humidity and the comfort, not only of the people, but also of the artworks. So we introduce uh, a solar panel system upon the roof that was uh, made uh, 
this way to don't uh, make it visible by outside. And it is another contribution to the um, consumption or reduction of the complex. For this uh, work, we received uh, an award, the premio, the award Hassan Fati, that uh, is uh, given for the harmonization of uh, the restoration aspect in the uh, with the, the system uh, with the systems and we are we were very happy to to receive this uh, this prize about sustainability i would like to explain uh, other projects two projects at urban scale this is a uh, um, master plan in uh, the town of Turin in the north of Italy. That is uh, the first one of the first industrial town in Italy, especially um, for automotive. There uh, were um, involved. We we were involved in, in uh, conceiving master plan. Of, um, for the reconversion of uh, an industrial area, an aircraft uh, industry, uh, in uh, to convert uh, that in uh, new functions, residential, mixed use, residential, commercial, tertiary, cultural, recreational. This is uh, the situation, uh, existing situation, now the uh, industry and this is uh, our master plan that uh, proposed uh, a pedonal uh, district in the town of the automotive <laughs> we propose the first uh, pedonal district with uh, a great square um, uh, that connect uh, every building and uh, uh, underground uh, parkings and uh, a great park with uh, mixed use not only industrial that, that was uh, concentrated in this building that is the uh, aerospace district to maintain the original industrial function but also a new quarter that has residential buildings uh, commercial buildings, sports center, and uh, a skyscraper for uh, an hotel and offices. This is, uh, these are views of the model. And these are renderings of uh, some of the parts of the, the complex, the skyscraper the aerospace district the aerospace museum in order to maintain the original function as a memory also in the new destination this is another project that we recent uh, uh, made and uh, won the first prize in a um, competition for the reconversion of a former uh, power plant that was uh, first a nuclear, nuclear power plant, but not uh, used for this use, then transformed in a thermal electrical um, power plant, and now abandoned. We propose to build a a new little town that uh, it is the first smart village uh, i think in, uh, in italy uh, and uh, in the mediterranean contest because is uh, uh, near to the to the sea and uh, we propose uh, a new solution for a uh, solution that uh, are now 
asking uh, an answer. So we propose to reuse some of the industrial building as the nuclear uh, plant, as the, this tower, and to uh, reuse the canal that uh, um, was uh, underground uh, to um, hold the reactors of the nuclear plant. We propose to open it and to make um, an arbor uh, without uh, um, intervention on the cost, but only uh, in the in the inside of at the, at, the, at the land and to build a new smart village with a low density that comprend uh, all the functions of a new town that uh, is conceived to have a high quality of life. I think that uh, is uh, known as the Italian way of life. And I think that is um, a model uh, combined with the new tendencies as uh, smart working because it permits uh, to the people to live not in an old town, but uh, uh, in a country that uh, uh, we, in, we, in which uh, we have uh, all the aspects of uh, best quality life. This is the master plan from the existing situation to a new composition where uh, um, several functions were uh, combined. And it is uh, uh, the general plan of the new town. This is a view of the harbor and of the former nuclear building that became a mall center. These are villas with a private harbor. And this is the little town that has a, an aspect uh, I think uh, in a style that is uh, typical for uh, Italy, but not uh, vernacular, uh, a new way to, um, to, to give uh, our uh, way of life. These are uh, senior living because we think that in a town as, as that, uh, the old people could live better and to have uh, with the medical system, advanced medical systems as uh, telemedicine, uh, uh, the possibility to, to live uh, uh, very well. Uh, this is the, the old tower that we arrange as an uh, installation for uh, multi multimedia events and to became uh, the symbol of the new village. I will uh, conclude with the two other projects that um, explain our experience in uh, advanced technology. And uh, this is uh, a project completed for the construction of an aircraft complex in Puglia, in the south of Italy, in which uh, there are, uh, uh, there is the production of the fuselage and uh, other components for uh, the Boeing B787 aircraft that is the first civil plane made by fiberglass. Fiberglass requests 
an advanced technology in which Italy is a leader. Uh, but the problem uh, of this building uh, it was to uh, contain the production of uh, big objects, like a fuselage of uh, a jet made by Fagever Glass in, uh, with the strictly request um, in terms of um, laborations. It is a huge complex. You see the principal building that uh, there are several buildings, but this is the principal that only one has uh, 90,000 square meters of surface because uh, he hosts. Uh, components that, are, that have a huge dimension. But um, the program was uh, as a, a strictly time to be realized and the design was made in uh, four, only four months and the construction in 16 months. But uh, this reduction of time don't, uh, uh, that was uh, for us a problem uh, in order to maintain a quality of the architecture uh, with combined with the, the answer to, to the request of the, of the industry. So the aspect of the building, uh, I think that is uh, a good result uh, of all um, the input that we received. This is the area before the works. There were olive trees that are typical of the Puglia that were uh, planted in several parts of the, of the land. So the land work was prepared to the new building that has uh, important dimensions. And uh, it is articulated in three bases. The first uh, will be completed in order to produce the first uh, components in uh, fiberglass. These are uh, work in progress. This is the facade is completed. This uh, is a photo of uh, the foundation uh, of the machinery that are uh, uh, prototypes and uh, request an important uh, uh, solution um, for the foundations. And this is the roof that is um, made uh, with uh, uh, skylights north oriented in order to have a perfect natural um, lighting. This is the complex completed that is near uh, the airport uh, because the complex uh, that uh, are produced will be sent to uh, the USA, to Seattle, uh, for the, the final uh, assembly. This is uh, an inner view with the, the fuselage that uh, are produced. And this is uh, some components that uh, completed uh, are uh, delivered to the USA with a special plane that uh, make this operation. I think as architect that uh, it was a hard program also for the complexity of the object, but also for the short time. But uh, as architects, we uh, research uh, good quality that was uh, uh, appreciated 
and the, the project was uh, exposed at uh, the, Bienna, the Venice Biennale, the Biennale di Venezia, that uh, I think you know as one of the most important uh, architecture exposition uh, event. I conclude with uh, the most recent pro uh, project that we made, that is the new uh, Academy um, for uh, military pilots that we are uh, building now in Sardinia, that is a, a beautiful uh, island uh, of Italy, in uh, an airport uh, in which we uh, introduce uh, a new complex, a campus, uh, for the training not only of the Italian pilots, but also for international uh, air forces. And um, it is possible with the cooperation by Italian Air Force and the Italian aerospace industry, Leonardo, that uh, built this uh, airplane that is one of the most advanced for training of the pilots. These are um, some uh, views of the of our design this is the uh, ground based uh, training system that has uh, the the rooms for the students but also flight simulators advanced very advanced and uh, these are other buildings to recover and maintain the airplanes. This is um, the canteen, but we have also sports center and other buildings that permits to the pilots to have uh, every function uh, in one site. This is uh, an image of a flight simulator but it is possible to combine the digital training with the, the real, real training. If you have just a little time, I would like to play a video of the, of the complex. Yes, sir. we would like to... <laughs> Inside the is at the building at the design by beam systems. Everything is designed by building information. This is a uh, uh, residential buildings. center and the swimming can see the ground basic system Thank you for uh, the attention. Uh, I am uh, here if you have uh, some questions. Thank you, Thank you. Uh, so much, sir, for this uh, really enriching and valuable session and uh, sharing your uh, journey 
of uh, how you started off with your education life then your uh, starting with your journey of being an architect and being the technical director and partner and showcasing all your projects it was really incredible to go through everything and uh, it was very enriching so now i would like to invite our director sir professor g sunil kumar sir to say a few words uh, good morning sir <laughs> my sincere apologies yeah my sincere apologies couldn't because we have a very important work at the university so we were busy with many other meetings so i couldn't join and uh, in fact i had also it was it is so nice that uh, you uh you have uh, accepted our invitation and uh, you came onto this platform uh and you were experienced like working for the biggest uh, aeronautical firms boeing and uh, italian air force i think that will inspire our students uh, to become architect right they can get a chance definitely everyone can aspire to do such projects and uh, the journey that you have talked about your journey that will definitely be inspiring to our students and this is the effort that we have been doing like uh, make aware the students what is the scope of architecture like how huge it is and the diversity of projects and uh, the amount of satisfaction that professional satisfaction that we get after completing projects and when we see senior architects like you sharing your experience it's very very inspiring thank you so much <laughs> thank you to you for this invitation yes sir thank, thank you very much yeah. yes uh, students so uh, <clears throat> if you have any questions you want to ask please go ahead and uh, it will be very nice uh, that someone can say out of thanks also <laughs> yeah Yes, uh, please uh, everyone feel free to ask questions in the chat box also it's a very great and uh, i would like to invite uh, before question answer session i would like to invite uh, kanaka sir to say vote of thanks madam you please continue i am stuck up with something oh okay <laughs> no problem sir no yeah. issue sir thank you sir for being yeah there. actually every all the faculty are very busy sir suddenly we have a uh, accreditation committee coming to our university tomorrow morning so everyone all the faculty are uh, actually working very hard yeah yes nikta you can continue with the vote of thanks yes sir yes sir so yes sir thank you so much uh to our guest speaker architect joseph losodo for being so kind enough to accept the invitation and i know we have been coordinating since month despite his busy schedule he gave us a date on this date 11th february to uh, have a word with all of us and it's really uh, nice of him to this and yes uh, sir uh, all the uh, whatever journey you had shown whether it's restoration projects or uh international training flight school or whatever the, it was really incredible and yes uh, definitely uh, like a new perspective also because uh, uh, the purpose of connecting with you also was that so we can know what are the latest trends going in rome italy because uh, we do study about rome which is a rich uh, architecture culture whether we have studied in our history about roman civilization greek civilization and all and then uh, knowing through your lens about what are the latest trends going on in italy and also uh, also inspiring and collaboration of how you are collaborating and uh, inspiring uh, diverse uh, diversity inviting students to do internship like as hari krishnan is also doing from kerala he has come so that is really incredible and it actually inspires everyone it inspires not only uh, the students uh, worldwide but uh, also all the faculties and uh, getting the opportunity to connect with such uh, well known uh, architects so it's really yes i think there's a question from someone anybody who, uh, i heard someone 
dear students please don't hesitate from asking questions because uh, it's really uh, valuable and very fruitful because uh, this is a very great opportunity sir has uh, our, our guest speaker has already told that uh, even if you want to do internship in future when you will be in your ninth semester you can uh, collaborate with him also in uh, through his email id and also just uh, don't hesitate from asking questions in the chat box yes nikda it's all right it's very overwhelming to uh, for the students to ask questions it okay. yeah yeah okay uh, sir uh, uh, our guest speaker if you allow uh, if uh, now to uh, questions are not coming but uh, if you allow i can share your email id with the students so that if they want to connect uh, or have any queries regarding the career in architecture they can connect with you over email yes we are um, we are happy if this it is happen and, okay sir uh, we are um, we are open to receive uh, questions of uh, requests of suggestion sir. we are uh, happy for this thank you thank you so thank much thank you sir so now with this uh, uh, i would uh, conclude the session so further uh, i would uh, request that uh, many webinars are also uh, coming up in the near future we are we are going to include the broad spectrum of knowledge from other eminent speaker and i would like to appreciate uh, express my appreciation to all the participants all the professor faculty members and especially our guest speaker for participating in the webinar series and on behalf of geetam school of architecture i would like to close my remarks and officially announce the end of today's webinar wishing you all the future prosperity and i further extend my gratitude to our esteemed speaker and thank you for your attention stay safe stay healthy signing off assistant professor snegara thank you so much everyone thank you thank sir you. thank you so much thank you all <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank Best you very much. Best wishes for you, <laughs> sir. And uh, actually, thanks to Snigda who has followed up you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Bye, Thank sir. You. Bye, Hari Krishnan. Bye, sir. Bye. Bye. -bye. See you soon. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Definitely. Thank you, sir.